Hey guys, what's up? Jwisp here, and welcome to episode 4 of the Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in the world, and things are starting to look really nice. Our beautiful starter house, our good dog Moose, and we've made a lot of good progress. In the last episode, we worked on a few separate things. First, we have this cow pen here, and uh, definitely pretty interesting. I'm not sure how, but besides cows, we have a sheep... Uh, a villager, a horse, and an iron golem. Now, I'm not sure if all of these different things that aren't cows simply jumped into the pen, or if some of them spawned in the pen. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about it. I might tame the horse, maybe I'll kill the sheep. Not sure what I want to do with the iron golem and the villager, though. <laughs> maybe I'll just leave them in there. I don't know. Kind of funny, though. We also went uh, and did some mining, and we got a decent amount of diamonds, as you can see. We have a diamond chest plate, a diamond sword, a diamond pickaxe, and we were also able to make an enchantment table, which is in a house over there. Now, in the last episode, I asked for a naming suggestion for my oxalotl friend here, because I actually have a decent amount of oxalotls, because there's a lot of oxalotls in that pond. But one name really stuck out with me, and I have to name my oxalotl this. Let's grab the name tag, go to the anvil. So... We made the pond for the oxalotl, and someone suggested the name James Pond. Instead of James Bond, James Pond. And I <laughs> I just thought that name was hilarious. It's super clever. So, here we have our oxalotl, James Pond. Now, one of the other things we recently got is these glowberries. Now, glowberries are one of the new food items in 1.17. Here I have some glowberries growing on the side of this house. You can right-click to harvest it. And after you harvest the glowberry, the interesting thing is, here we have this, you know, glowberry growing. No matter how long I wait, no more glowberries will grow. I have to break it, I have to place it again, and wait for mo more glowberries to grow. Let's see if we have any on this side. Uh, oh, we have one right there. Okay, and one right there. Now, as the name implies, glowberries do actually glow. If we were in a dark place right now, or if it was nighttime, you would actually see the glowberries producing light. Not the vines or stalks themselves, but the actual berry. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. So what I want to do is work on a little bit of a glowberry farm. Now glowberries, you know, obviously you can eat them, so they're useful in that regard. But also glowberries have some other interesting uses. I'm going to take out this villager to get the leads. Glowberries can actually be used to tame foxes in a similar way to taming cats. Just like with cats, how you need some fish and you need to slowly go up to the cat, making sure not to scare it and then taming it. You can do that with glowberries. And also, glowberries are used to breed foxes. So, if we ever want some pet foxes in the future, which we might be able to get because there is this spruce biome nearby, and I think I saw a fox or two, we might be able to get some foxes from there. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to take these glowberries and make a glowberry farm. I'm going to show you guys my design that I figured out that I think looks really cool, and uh, I'm sure you guys will like it as well. Alright, so I think I'm going to do this right around here in this flat-ish area. I'm going to get out all the grass, and then we're going to work on building this. So I have three main building blocks here that I want to use. I'm going to use fences, spruce slabs, and actually campfires. And I'm going to show you guys why I'm using campfires. It'll look good once it's done, so you'll just have to watch the whole process. So let's make uh, the first little bit here. I'm going to make them in sort of like trellises almost. Let's see. So I have one. And then we're going to build up three blocks, and on top of that third block, we're going to place a slab, just like that. And then I want to go with the campfires, one, two, three, four, place a slab, and then one, two, three, four, place another slab. And then we're going to go down with the fences again, and right in the middle here, place a fence. Now this looks kind of weird with the campfires going, there's a lot of fire, but what we can do, we can head up on top of here, jump on top of the slab, take our shovel, and actually... Put out all of the campfires just like that. Perfect. And then if we go underneath, we can take the glowberries and place... Oh, whoa. Wrong block. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that with the campfires. We can take the glowberries and place them just like this. So it'll act like a little glowberry farm right there. Perfect. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Let's take the spruce out of the way. And boom, there we have it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to repeat this probably a few times. Let's see, how much space should I put in between? I think I'll put two blocks of space in between each one. That'll probably be good. Uh, we can do that, and then we have to get some spruce planks <laughs> so we can place our slab on top. Now, actually, I think I might need to make some more campfires because I notice how the campfire, the logs are going this way. I want them to go this way, so let's see if we can do that. If I place it like this, 
There we go. What if I do it like that on the corner? Okay. You see how I can do it two separate ways? I think it would look better if I did it like this. So, let's break these two. I'll make one of each and let's see how it looks. Let's do it like this. I have to place it just on the corner there very carefully. There we have our four. Place the slab. And then, just like that, we should be good. Boom. Oh, nope. Messed up that one. Okay, at least we're getting charcoal back. The only thing we need to make a campfire is coal or charcoal sticks and some logs. So it's not too bad. I have a lot of wood, so it shouldn't be too bad. Why well, am I having trouble placing this one? Maybe place it like that? Hmm. Can I place it in the corner? There we go. We finally got it. And then finally, a slab and some fences. So, let's see how this one looks. Let's get back on top. Let's get our planks. Put out all the fires and see how this one looks. Let's be careful. We'll take some damage, but put them all out with the shovel and plop down here. So, I'm not sure if you notice what I'm saying, but do you see how at the top of the campfire we have this one continuous sort of wood? Whereas up here, it's a little bit disconnected. So, let's see how it, see how it looks with the glow berries. Oh, and we have to place fences in the middle. And I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference, but we can see. Let's see. I think I definitely like this one better, this second one. So, I'm going to make a few more of these, and I'm going to replace this first one, and I'll be back with you guys, and we'll see how this looks in the end. Alright, I'm finished here, and now that it's nighttime, it's the perfect time to probably show this off. So, let's grab some of our bone meal here, and grow some of the glow berries. So, as you can see, once the berries are actually there, uh, they glow, which looks pretty dang cool. Now, obviously, we'll wait a bit more time for these to all grow, and we'll see how it looks. But I think once this is all grown out, it'll look really cool. What I'll probably do to finish this off, and just to make it look a bit better, is I might add some sort of path, and I'll also probably bone meal the area around here to get a lot of grass and flowers, just to make it look a lot prettier. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure if I want grass in between these sort of glowberry trellises, but let's see. Let's just do a little bit of experimentation. I have some more bone meal in my chests. Uh, at the base. I just only have a little bit in my inventory right now from killing some skeletons. So, let's see how this looks. Alright, this looks pretty cool. I like it. We just need to make sure that directly under the glow berries, there isn't any grass or flowers that's gonna interrupt the growing of the actual berries. Let's see. So, this glowberry farm will be pretty useful because, like I said, we can use it for foxes, we can use it for food, it can be a source of light in the nighttime to prevent mobs from spawning. So, glow berries have a lot of uses. Plus, it looks pretty. I think this looks pretty. I think it looks nice, and I think it's pretty dang cool, and I'm glad that, you know, we're putting a, a lot of the new 1.17 blocks to use. That's what I want to do a lot in this series. I want to mess around with a lot of the new 1.17 blocks and see what we can do to make them look good. So, we have the Glowberry Farm finished. Ah, hello, little Oxlotl. So, what I want to do now is we have this beautiful pond right in front of our house, and so I think it's only fitting that we had some sort of fishing dock and eventually a fishing hut. But just to start out, I just want to add a little fishing dock and see how that looks. So let's get rid of all these trees and we can also use some of this wood to make the dock. Now what's also going to be nice about this is uh, this dock will also act as I guess our little, I don't know, oxalotl lookout. <laughs> we still have one oxalotl in this pond. There might be more floating around. I'm not sure where they're coming from. There was also an oxalotl in that small pond over there. I don't think this is the correct biome for oxalotls to spawn, but like I was saying in the last episode, sometimes oxalotls will spawn other places or underground. Sometimes they'll wander out of the water, <laughs> go somewhere else, and then find their way to the closest water source, and sometimes that's just somewhere they don't belong. So, not sure what that oxalotl is doing there, but okay, looks like we got all the trees out of the way. So, let's see what we can do. Maybe I'll actually uh, take out all the trees in this little coastline right over here. And also, probably get rid of this little animal pen that the villagers made. No offense, but uh, I don't think it looks that good. I'll also probably take the hay bales and use that to make some food, which would be pretty good. Because, I mean, I'm pretty stacked on food right now. I don't really need it, but at least it'll mean we don't need food for a long, long time. Plus, we already have some food sources growing. We have that huge cow farm. Plus, we have tons of glow berries if we need them. All right, I've cleared out the area and got some materials. And I think I want to make the fishing dock right here. And I want to mess around with a few different designs. Today is definitely the day of building with campfires because I want to mess around with some different campfire designs and see what I can do to make a good fishing dock build. Now, what I'm doing here is just making the main platform. And I'm using spruce planks. And I kind of want to, like put them at varying heights to maybe make it look a bit older, give it the effect that it's been sort of weathered down a little bit, something like that, but I'm not sure that this is exactly how I want to do it. Like I said, I might mess around with a few different designs. I think I want campfires 
on the side here like this and then I'll also mess around with some fences and stuff and see what looks good. So I'm going to take some time to uh, just, I don't know, mess around with different placements of blocks and see what looks good. Okay, I think I'm going to do the same thing I pretty much did before, but I'm starting with the outline of the campfires and then I'm just going to place some random slabs like this, occasionally placing a slab or two on the lower level. I might also mess around with, I've done this in the past, using some oak planks along with the spruce planks to give it that sort of weathered down look that also works really well. So I'll see what works out. Let's see how this looks. All right, this is starting to look decent. And what I also want to do is, maybe I shouldn't have placed all the campfires. I do want to occasionally place a barrel or two around here just to give it, I don't know. I think barrels always belong in anything, any build that belongs to fishing or fishing docks. Barrels always need to be there. So let's see, let's place a barrel right there. See how that looks. I think that looks pretty good, okay. Let's keep going with this dock. Let's build out a bit further and uh, see how it looks. Okay, okay, so here we are. This is what I decided with. I continued with the barrels, the campfires, and I actually broke one little piece off the side here and decided to put a fence post with a nice little lantern. I'm not sure. This might be a good lantern height. Maybe I'll put it a bit lower, a bit higher. I'm not sure, but I think it looks good. I also placed one more little lantern here, and I think it looks... All right. Now, the reason I added so many lanterns is because I really like to add a lot of light that fits in with my builds. I don't like where the area I'm living has a lot of mobs spawning at nighttime, like skeletons and zombies and stuff. So to counteract that, I like to put a lot of light in my builds. Now, obviously, you could just place torches all over the ground, and that would be just as an effective job. However, placing torches everywhere is a bit of a pain. Plus, it doesn't make the world look nice. But adding lanterns and light sources that look like they fit in your builds makes it look really good. So what I want to experiment with here is I made a few oak slabs. Let's just randomly place a few oak slabs. I was saying earlier that sometimes I make fishing docks with oak and spruce slabs to give it a weathered, worn down look. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I mean, I think the oak looks good, but I think I like it better with just the spruce slabs. I don't know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys like it with the oak, just the spruce? Or if you guys have any ideas on how I could change it, or maybe make it look better, let me know down below. But, here's the fishing dock. Looking pretty good. This looks like a good screenshot. I had to do it. <laughs> I think the builds we made today, at least so far, looked pretty dang good. I like the glow berries. I like this. And we're looking nice. I think right here is the perfect place to add a potential fishing uh, hut house type thing. Maybe I could even make a fishing hut over on top of the water. Also, this corner right here is also another great place to put it. I might also make another fishing dock right here. I was also thinking it would be a really cool idea if somehow we found a big river, a big pond, or even an ocean nearby and connected our little pond with that ocean via a canal. I think that'd be a really cool idea. Add boats and little houses all along it. That would look really cool. I'm not sure though. I'm just trying to brainstorm ideas for this world. If you guys have any ideas or anything you want to see me build, let me know down below. It looks, oh my gosh, what's happening here? <laughs> we have four villagers now. Two iron golems and a horse. Maybe maybe I need to make a way for the mobs to get out of there. I've never had so many issues with people, or I should say villagers, making their way into my animal pens. So, I don't know, I might have to, uh, might have to figure out something. Or I can just take away the leaves. I don't know, I like the leaves around my animal pen though. I think it looks good. But I don't want tons of iron golems and all my villagers. Ooh! Ooh, 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 creeper, let's be careful. I don't want everyone just chilling inside my animal pen, chilling with the cows all day. Uh-oh, okay, let's draw the creeper away from the animal pen. I don't want to blow all this up. I want to be very careful. Okay, you can, blow up, you can blow up the glowberry farm, just not my animal pen. Okay, these villagers are going crazy around all of these barrels, and they're trying to take over my house. So, I think instead of forcing them outside, I'm just going to make them a small fishing hut. All right, I'm gonna make this pretty small, but I think we can fit a decent amount of beds inside. So, let's place uh, one thing here, and then let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, and there we go. I'm gonna use spruce logs on the outside, and I kind of just grabbed a bunch of random blocks. I don't know. We're gonna do improv. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use some stone brick as a base here, and then above that, should I use spruce or oak wood? Let's see what looks good. I have both options available. Um, we have spruce, and then we have oak. I think what might actually look good. Let's experiment with this. What if instead I actually use oak logs, 
And I use spruce wood. Oh, there we go. I love I love the color combination. The color combination of oak logs and spruce wood is just unmatched. I think it looks so good. All right. So let's see. Let's build this up a little bit and plop these down really fast. I think what we're going to do, I don't even know if I need windows. I might, since it's a little bit of a f hut design, I might just use maybe fences for windows that could look good i don't know let's experiment let's see what we can do i'm just gonna make it really small it doesn't need to look great it doesn't need to look fantastic i can always go back in the future and potentially make it look a little bit better but for right now i just need something that's gonna get these villagers uh away from there <laughs> and if i put some barrels around here it might draw some of the villagers away and bring them towards here so what other blocks should i mess with i think I should maybe make this one block higher. Let's see. I'm out of oak logs, so we're going to have to work with what we have. I don't want to collect any more right now. I think I have some more in my chests, but let's see. I could do a sh sort of layered roof like this. Something. And have it go off hanging from the sides. I think that'll probably be our best bet. So... Let's work on this a little bit and see what I can come up with. Alright, I just had to grab some bone meal so that I can finish up the last touches on the house. But, this is what I came up with. I actually am very proud of this. Uh, the reason I like to build a lot off camera is just because... Even though this house is small, this took me a while to build. Because I like to experiment with different things and just seeing what looks good. Oh no! Whoa, what is my oxalotl doing? Get back, get back in the water, even though you're supposed to be in the pond. Get, get in the big... Come on, James Pond. You can do it. Get in the big pond. I don't want you to die. Okay. James Pond is safe. But here we go. This is what I came up with. Kind of almost like, uh, you know, the roof. We have these sort of Nordic Viking looking roofs. And again, instead of the windows, I did do what I said. I added some fences and I added three beds inside just so that, uh, <laughs> you know, we could have as many villagers sleeping here as possible. Plus, if you add a lot of beds in your village, your village will act as its own villager breeder. Given that you at least have some farming villagers that have access to food, like their little farms over there, the villagers will breed themselves up to however many beds there are. So you can either have a farm or you can just give the villagers food. Either of those work. Uh, I added some barrels around the house and I think it looks good. Again, all I did was add some stairs down the roof. It's a pretty simple design. And then in the front and back here I added some inverted stairs to sort of fit in. And then I added one upside down stair at the top on each end to sort of act as the end of the roof. And I think overall it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add one lantern on top of each of these barrels to act as a light source. And then besides that, we're going to go around here and bone meal this place up just to add some flowers. We can always add some flowers of our own if it doesn't turn out super good. But let's see what it looks like once it's all finished. Thankfully we do have a good biome here with a lot of flowers. That makes it, makes it look... Uh, pretty nice here we have some of these orange tulips and some of these daisies so let's place these around here just sort of randomly uh just to add some color so we have something more than just these red and yellow plants all over the place and boom that should be good and i'll place that there and where should i place this last one right there and there we go we have our little fishing hut and i think it looks pretty good right across from the pond here and right next to the fishing dock so we're definitely making good progress i think this whole general area of the village is starting to really come alive and when i think about it uh right over here we actually have another big pond more like a lake <laughs> and so we might be able to make this entire village sort of like a fishing village have a lot of fishing huts have a lot of fishing villagers i think that would be a cool theme and design for a village as yeah we have this huge area here even make maybe one or two houses on this tiny island here and maybe some houses on top of the water i think that would look pretty dang cool well anyways guys that is all for today's episode i really hope you enjoyed hopefully found it entertaining useful inspirational i don't know let's see hopefully you like the glowberry farm or the fishing dock or the fishing hut you can get some inspiration from that maybe make similar builds especially i really like the glowberry farm i think these little trellises look really nice i might add more around my village add some bigger ones or add them in different places plus it's really easy to come along here and harvest you can make automatic glowberry farms if you really want a lot of glowberries however i'm not a huge fan of doing that uh simply because i don't know i think this looks a lot better than an automatic glowberry farm would but maybe we'll make an automatic glowberry farm in the future just to kind of show off what they look like and how they work but i hope you enjoyed i think the world is really starting to come along and look really nice like i said that's all for this episode my name is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next one